Hello everyone, my name is Evan Alderman with the Iowa State University Pesticide Safety Education Program. Thank you for choosing to attend one of our live virtual trainings. Now this is the first time that we've ever offered any sort of online or live virtual training. And as you can tell, I'm at home right now. Things are a lot different now and we're trying to get creative in ways to deliver these continuing instruction courses to you, the applicators. This year, we're gonna be using Zoom for our live virtual trainings. And specifically, we're going to look at the chat box function. The chat box function essentially is gonna allow us to communi communicate back and forth with you to make sure that you're watching the video and remaining attentive. During your program that you attend, you will be asked four separate times to sign into the chat box using your name and your certification number. Throughout this brief little video today, we're going to take a look at how to get into Zoom on a computer, an iPhone, or an Android device. But more specifically, we're gonna take a look at how to get into the chat function. So stick around, we're gonna start with how to do it on the computer. Okay, let's take a look at how to use Zoom on the computer. Now, I'm going to be using a Mac today, but the process is going to be very similar on a PC as well. So as part of the requirements for this program, you are supposed to pre-register for your county, or through your county, I should say. Your county should have then sent you, one, this video, but two, also a link to the Zoom meeting. That is... Um, link to the Zoom meeting is going to be how you enter the meeting and view the entire program. So specifically, we're going to take a look at how to use the chat function. And the chat function is how we communicate with each other and how you communicate with us that you are still watching the program and remaining attentive. So we're going to ask you four times throughout the program. Um, maybe we ask you questions, but we're also going to ask you to put your name and your certification number. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go find that email that my county office may have sent to me. And it's the first one. So I received, and your county office may subject it something different, but mine says PCIC, Private CIC Zoom Invitation Demo. And this is going to remain the same for any program that you might be attending. Um, it's just whatever your county sends it to you as. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this email, and you'll see a couple different things. So the first thing that you're going to see is this iastate.zoom.us slash join. Now, if you don't have Zoom downloaded on, onto your computer, it is no big deal. Go ahead and click on the iastate.zoom.us slash join, and it's gonna open up a browser window for you where you can put the next thing, which is the meeting ID, the 640-738-0466. When you open up that browser window, it's going to ask you to put in that meeting ID. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now so we so you can see how it is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this iastate.zoom.us and I've already kind of cheated a little bit. I copied that link earlier, which you can do. Um, just go ahead and copy that meeting ID and go ahead and paste it into the meeting ID or personal link name box. So I went ahead and I um, copied that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click join. Now, since I have the Zoom program downloaded on my computer, Zoom app downloaded on to my computer already. It's wanting me to open up that um, application. Now, if you don't have the Zoom app downloaded on your computer, it's no big deal. What it's going to do is after you put in that meeting ID, it is going to open up Zoom in a web browser rather than an application on your computer. So to get into it, I'm gonna go ahead and click open zoom.us, but for some of you that don't have the application on your computer, you don't need to worry about that part. Now, just to get familiar with some of the things that Zoom has if you haven't um, participated in a Zoom meeting before. On the bottom left-hand side of your screen, you're gonna see a mute button or a start video button. Now, during the program, we're not requiring you to show your video, but if you would like to show your video, go ahead. Um, but what we do ask is if you don't have a question, um, please go ahead and mute yourself. That way, if somebody else has a question, um, there's not 100 people talking over each other and we can listen to the person that has, the applicator that has the question. So if you have a question, go ahead and unmute yourself. That way you can communicate with us what your question is or what you might need help with. Okay, but also at the bottom of the screen, you will also see a box that says chat. 
This is very important. This is how it communicates with us that you are watching and remaining attentive during the program. So go ahead and click on chat. And it's gonna open up a window over here that says chat. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, because one of us PSEP members might ask you to do it several times, is I'm gonna go ahead and type in my name as well as my fake certification number. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. Okay, as you can see, it popped up up there. It says me to everyone. So that, that means I just sent a message to everyone in the Zoom meeting, which is what we want you to do. Now, a couple things to make sure of is whenever we ask you to sign in, we want you to use your full name as well as your certification number. If you just use your first name or your last name, um, we may not know who exactly you are, um, so make sure you use your full name and your certification number if you know it. Secondly, if you're asked a question to answer, like maybe what is your biggest problem weed? Go ahead and type in your biggest problem weed followed by your name and your certification number. Now at the bottom here where it says to everyone, make sure it says to everyone. If it says to a specific person, you need to change it. There'll be a drop down menu here that you can click on. Since I'm the only one in the meeting, it just lets me do it to everybody. Go ahead and click on to everyone and make sure it says to everyone. If you send it to a specific person, we as PSEP members may not see it and be able to give you credit for attending the program today. So make sure that you're typing in the chat box, which can be found here at the bottom of the screen here that says chat, which opens up this window and it is free to go ahead and type into. So with that, we're going to look at how to use the chat function in Zoom on an iPhone next. Stay tuned. So I'm gonna go over here to my Zoom app and open up the Zoom app and I'm gonna click um, join, which is going to allow me to put in that meeting ID. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna paste that meeting ID that I had from earlier from my email. And I have my name there, so I'm gonna go ahead and click join. And as you can see, it is now connecting me to the host and it says to hear others, please join audio. So we're gonna call using internet audio and as of right now, I am muted. So if you click on your screen, um, you'll see it gives you some options. So in the bottom, ref bottom left, you have that unmute button. Leave that um, muted until you have a question or you need to say something. You have the stop video, but on the right-hand corner, uh, bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you're gonna have three dots that says more. Go ahead and click more. And as you can see, it gives you a lot of different options here, but the one that you're going to look for is chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on chat here. And as you can see, it opened up the chat function and I'm gonna go ahead, if I were to be using my phone for the program, I'm gonna go ahead and type in my name. If I can spell, go ahead and type in my name. And then I'm gonna also type in my pseudo um, applicator number. And I'm gonna go ahead and click send. And it's that simple especially on using iPhone. So I can show you one more time. So click on your screen, bottom right hand corner the, with the three dots, click the chat function. And whenever we ask you to sign in, that is how you're going to sign in. You just tap where it says tap here to chat. I tap and I type in my name and my certification number. Again, make sure when it's where it says send to, make sure it says everyone. So that is how you use the Zoom function on an iPhone. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do it on an Android device. Okay, now to use Zoom on an Android device is really similar to using it on an iPhone. What we're gonna ask you to do is go ahead and download the Zoom app from your Android store. And as you can see here in the picture, it is circled. So after it's downloaded, go ahead and go click on Zoom which is going to open up your Zoom login page. Very similar to an iPhone, go ahead and click on the join meeting button where you will then be asked to put in the meeting details from the email that you received from your county. So you'll put in that little four, uh, the, the number that was provided to you for the meeting ID, put in your name if it's not already there and go ahead and click join. After you click join, it is going to pop up and show you that you are in the meeting.
Now, since I do not have an Android device, my colleague, Betsy, from the PSEP program, um, was helping me out with these pictures here. So, um, it shows you in, in, are in the meeting, and whoever is talking at that point in time will show up on your screen. But to get to the chat box function, it's, it's the same thing as the iPhone. Go ahead to the three dots in the bottom right-hand corner. Click on those three dots, which will open up the menu for more options. And then you'll go ahead and click on chat. The chat will open up an option for you to put in your name and your certification number. Again, make sure where it says send to, send to everybody. And once you've typed in your name and your certification number, go ahead and click send. Sending that will send it out to us so we can see and make sure that you are staying attentive as you can see in this one. And once you are done with that check-in, go ahead and click close, which will close the chat box and bring you back into the program where you can see what is going on. But each time we ask you to check in, you're gonna have to go to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen on an Apple phone or an Android, click on more with the drop-down menu and click on chat where it will allow you to type in your name and your certification number. Lastly, I wanna thank you for choosing to attend one of our live virtual programs. Again, these live virtual programs are brand new to us and brand new to you. But there's a learning curve, especially with Zoom. Sometimes it can be a little bit finicky, but hopefully after this brief video, you're comfortable with using Zoom as well as the chat box function. If you, have, if you still have questions after this video today, go ahead, feel free to contact your county office with for more questions or go ahead and contact one of us PSEP members. Again, my name's Evan Alderman with the Iowa State Pesticide Safety Education Program. Thank you for choosing to attend one of our programs and we wish you the best of luck in the next growing season. Thank you and we'll see you next time.